Hi, so in this video, I will take you through a quick tutorial on how you can moni monitor your API through dashboards. So all Signal's dashboards comes with the list of services, services and shows you the different APIs you are available. But if you notice it, these APIs are only at a point of time value, like P99 values at a point of time, right? So what if you want to monitor a particular API over time, right? So something like a time series graph of this. So one way is to see this in the trace filter page, which I have shared earlier. But if you don't, if you want uh, to fix a set of dashboards, which you want to monitor over time and uh, have it readily available, what you can do is you can create dashboards to achieve the same. So in Signals repo, we have created a repo called Dashboards. So it has multiple things, multiple folders with inbuilt dashboards there. One of them is key operations. So these are dashboards which help you plot key operations and they are metrics like P50, P95, P99 latencies and the number of calls. And then you can use similar JSON files or similar queries to create uh, more details about a particular operation. So there are two types of dashboards available today. One is through ClickHouse query directly, one is through prompt query. So I'll just take an example of how a prompt, you can write PromQL dashboards and use this to uh, monitor specific APIs in Signals. So if you see, this is a, uh, from QL dashboards, we'll just copy it. And then if you go to dashboard section of signals, and then you can create new dashboards, it gives you an option to import JSON file. So just click that. We copied the raw JSON from this key operations from QL.json, and then we'll just paste it here. Once you press load JSON, it will create a dashboard with all the services loaded. Now you have to select a service here. Uh, so I have lots of services in this, so there are lots of options, but uh, you can select whatever service you want to monitor for. So suppose you want to press front end and then you have to press refresh to start seeing the metrics for this. So very quickly you start getting like P50, P95, P99, uh, metrics or latencies for these specific APIs which belong to this service, right? And uh, if you want to change the service name, you can go ahead and do, for example, I have an API called root, and again, press the refresh, and then this will show you all the APIs available for this service. Now you can also uh, go take this in a auto refresh mode so that you don't have to refresh it all the time and it refreshes automatically. So I have created an auto refresh mode for 10 seconds here. So now this dashboards will automatically refresh for 10 seconds and then you can uh, plot it in a monitor or readily reference it, right? Uh, just to get a deeper view on what this is doing, uh, if you see the PromQL query, this is plotting a histogram, which is 50th percentile it is taking the service name, which is the variable which it is selecting from the dashboard which I have given. And then it is grouping by operation name and then by the quantile window, so which this uh, operation like histogram quantile operates on. So yeah, so you can create similar dashboards for any of your uh, services and monitor them through dashboards. Thank you.